Moving closer to first pitch at Kauffman Stadium, the Yankees and Royals come your way next. From the longtime home of the Royals, we welcome you to Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, site of this edition of Major League Baseball presented by the show. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. And the Royals defensively will look like this behind him. Eduardo Nunez will move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Fastball bounces up to the plate and it's taken for a ball. Not the warmest night you'll see around here and even 50 degrees at game time. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Yeah, he's gotten a good look at him here on these first three pitches, but he's going to need to pull the trigger sooner or later. And this ball will be chopped foul. Fastball, and he popped it up. Back into short right field. Gets will wait on it. And he puts it away for the first down. Derek Jeter will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. What a stop! And in fact, no throw as he's able to reach first base safely. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, will dig in now. And as you can see, he's well over 300 here to start this new campaign. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. An 89 mile an hour fastball is not overpowering by any stretch, but it sure had him on his back foot. On attempt misses, the throw down. Not in time, and Jeter's in there at second base. Yeah. Low and away with that one, it's 1 and 2. For Jeter. He picks up his fifth stolen base on the campaign from the stretch. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Curtis Granderson will get his first shot here. As you can see, he currently leads the junior circuit in hitting. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. In tight again, and it's to 2-0 now. And you've got a base open, but you've got even more danger waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go after him. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That will do it for this half of the inning. And look there at the starting lineup for the Royals. Again brought to us by State Farm. Chris Getz is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. Throw on to first by Cano. And there's the first out of the inning. Lorenzo Kane will stand in. He is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. Throw gets him in first, and Garcia's retired the first two men to face him in the inning. Eric Hosmer steps in now. Swing and a liner toward right center. But there to take it in is a well-positioned Cano, and that'll end the inning. The first baseman, Mark Teixeira, will stand in, hoping to get things turned around here in April as he enters play with an average down in the 220s. Started to go around there. Appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire. Strike one. The pitch. Line to left. 
but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. And now a fastball is roasted into left field. That's a base hit. Brett Gardner will dig in now, and he's got to be wondering when his bat's going to make the trip north from spring training as he has really struggled in the early going. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. A check on A-Rod, now the pitch. In there, 1-1. One one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. And A-Rod's going. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. And that's through, a base hit. Throw into third. And he'll make it to third, and there are runners at the corners with only one out. Nick Swisher will stand in, and that average has to be a source of pride for him early on. He's got it up over 350 to start the new season. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. They've got an opening here. So this is where you can really jump on a guy out there before he's settled in. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to Hosmer, a double play in the... Billy Butler will stand in. He's got that average pushing up near 300 to start the new season. And that misses ball one. Okay, play ball. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And he misses two and one. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now the 2-2 pitch. Line hard into left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Around second. He'll try for third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Jeff Francoeur will stand in, and you see the average there, up over 300 to start the new season. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Betancourt will be the batter, and he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Runner goes. Pitches a cold strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. For Frank Coeur, his second steal now here in the month of April. He'll try again. One, two. Ball two. And if he wants to turn things around, that's a pitch that he's going to need to start locating better. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. And there to take it is A-Rod for route number two. Alcides Escobar will stand in. And you see the slow start by the numbers as he's struggling to crack 200 on this new season. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And a base hit as Swisher's in to cut it off. 
And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And beyond the range of Jeter, it's short, a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. Chris Getz will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Now the one strike pitch is sent on the ground to Cano at second base. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is... Russell Martin is ready to go here as we begin the third. Russell Martin. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. And Matt, that thing will turn hard like that at the end when he's really throwing it well. Slider taken here, one ball, one strike. And this is going back to the pattern he's been using here lately. Set him up inside and then get him out with pitches away. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Eduardo Nunez will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. For Martin, that's his first double of the year here on the young campaign. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Fouled straight back. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Here he comes again, 1-2. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. And this is past him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. So the shortstop, Derek Jeter, will dig in. He singled his first time around. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. There goes the runner. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Jeter waiting, now the 1-1. On the ground is short, this could be two. Gets for one. On to first, and they're able to get Jeter. It's a double play. Robinson Cano will stand in now. He took home the Silver Slugger Award in the American League a year ago. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. Now the pitch. Big swing by Cano as he lifts this one high and deep out to right field. Retreating is Frank Coor, but this one is gone. A home run. Robinson Cano, a solo home run. As the Yankees have tied things up, it's 2-2. Two two. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire. Lorenzo Cain makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. And the fastball is lined into right field for a leadoff single. Eric Hosmer will stand in. A line out victim his first time. And that misses inside 1 and 0. 2 2 is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Boy, in a Reagan era fastball that time, mid 80s, but it's called strike one. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole, and that is in the right field, the base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Billy Butler will dig in. He tripled and later scored his first time around. 
Pedro Feliciano is going to come on to pitch here and seeing as though it's just the third inning he may be asked to work for a while on to first and how about that he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play ball with one pitch Jeff Francoeur is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball it's one and oh to two and oh now as he hits with a runner at third and two away fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third throw on to Teixeira to take care of him and that ends the inning Mark Teixeira will step in to kick off the inning with Alex Rodriguez waiting on deck for the Yankees fastball too high to start him out here one and oh and that thing looked like it was still rising at the end the 1 0 pitch and he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike that was a dangerous spot there for a good fastball hitter good thing he was taking up high two and one now Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Alex Rodriguez will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Yeah, not a lot he can do with that fastball. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, and that ball is out of here. A solo home run here for Alex Rodriguez. As the Yankees move out in front here, it's now three to two. Throw in time at first for route number two. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And stepping in is the right fielder, Nick Swisher. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Russell Martin will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And that's been part of his problem so far, not being able to locate that fastball when he's needed to. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. That would have been a good one to offer at there. Sanchez readying the 1 and 1. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. They'll go the short way to Getz, and that ends the inning. Betancourt will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. The nothing in one pitch is bounced on the ground to Jeter at shortstop. And a good throw gets him one gone. Brian Pena will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. This is on the ground for the first baseman to Shara. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw on to Teixeira is going to be in time, and with it, the inning is over. Eduardo Nunez will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Back at it is Sanchez as he moves ahead of the leadoff man here. Nothing in one. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Derek Jeter will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And he is out, retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. 
Robinson Cano will dig in now. The starting second baseman for the American League in last July's All-Star game. Jeter's running. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both a southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Swing and a hard liner to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it 4-2 to two now. So a runner on first with one out now. And standing in now is the dangerous center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he'll just flip this one underhanded to first to record the out. Mark Teixeira will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Lorne Asuncion will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Swisher is there and it takes just one pitch to retire the leadoff man in the home half of the fifth. You talk about your bullpen core giving you a lift. That's six straight now since coming in out of the pen. Chris Getz will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hmm, I don't know. It looked to me like he might have gone around. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Lorenzo Cain will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Big swing and a miss at the fastball and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And even with two outs this is a team that can still put something together here especially in this part of the lineup so you can't let your guard down. Now a good change up there as this is lifted into the air out towards center field and Granderson will make the catch and the inning is over. Tim Collins will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. Asuncion is there to put this one away, so a good job of getting A-Rod on just one pitch. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. 1-0. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And a fastball in there for a strike. 1-1. One and one. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4-2 ball game. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. In time to first and there are two away. Nick Swisher will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Go get him. And Swisher goes after this one and it's a routine grounder to second. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nothing across here. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. They're now down by two here in the sixth. They've got the right part of their order due up to maybe make a run at tying up this ball game. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. So one gone in the inning now for Billy Butler. Fastball in there for a called strike. And this guy's triple earlier in the game stands as their only extra base hit so far. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. But a good job of staying with it as he throws his man out. Jeff Francoeur will stride in, grounded out his last time through. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. 
And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Throw on to Teixeira to take care of him, and that ends the inning. Russell Martin will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And this is a right-handed heavy section of the lineup here, so he's got three right-handers due up, barring a pinch hitter. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. And now he'll need to build on that one, two, three inning last time out, and that's a good start here. And this pitch is taken by Martin as the count moves to two and one now. Two and two. Here's the ball hit high in the air and fairly deep toward the right field corner. And now that one will hop over the wall for an automatic double. Eduardo Nunez will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. First pitch to him. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. For Martin, he's at second with his second double of this young season. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. On to first is Escobar, one away. Derek Jeter will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. makes his way to the mound. Now here's the pitch. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Asuncion is going to have room though as he backs up to put it away and there are two men gone. Curtis Granderson will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. In there at the knees strike one. And you'd think for all the offense these guys have put together, he'd be an integral part of it. Not tonight, though. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Asuncion is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Betancourt will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Brian Pena will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Alcides Escobar will dig in here. 1 for 2. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Starting to run. Mark Teixeira will step in to kick off the inning with Alex Rodriguez waiting on deck for the Yankees. And now a pitch on the way. And he drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Oof. You don't see him take that pitch too often. And he takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The one-two now to Teixeira. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the air out to left. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout. Quickly one away. Alex Rodriguez will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. First pitch coming. And a swing by Rodriguez, but he got under it a bit, as this will be pretty routine. 
Oh, and he can't track it down as this ball falls. Well, and he's on base again here with one out as that's his third hit of the game. Brett Gardner will get another crack one for three thus far. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Fouled back. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. Mm, he did not like that one bit. Now, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff. Don't do it around the dome. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. There to take it is Escobar. Two away now. Nick Swisher will step in. A ground out victim his last time. And this is fouled back and out of play. A check on A-Rod, now the pitch. Ronnie oh, looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Runners going. On the ground to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Lauren Assumption will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Throw to first by Jeter, and there's one gone. That's a pretty common mistake there for a young hitter. You see this pitch is away and yet he still thinks he can pull the ball and it winds up being an easy ground out to shortstop. Chris Getz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Now a cutter but that's in the dirt for a ball. Down low again it's two and one. But he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. And that is through into center field for a one out single. On to the second baseman covering and he can't handle it. Lorenzo Kane will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Rafael Soriano will come on now as he inherits a runner at first with already one out in the inning. Good live fastball there from Soriano at strike one. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two out. Greg Holland will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Russell Martin stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. And, and that is a world-class change up there. Swung on and fouled straight back. Good waste pitch, one and two. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And they can't run it down. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Ooh, a tough take there on one and two, especially after fighting off so many pitches prior to that one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And the leadoff man retired here to kick off the ninth. Eduardo Nunez will stride in, grounded out his last time through. 
Here's the first offering. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Two and one. The two one. And he's fallen behind now. Three and one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Let's go, Royals. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Swinging a soft liner towards short from deep in the hole. Oh, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Two away, and Derek Jeter will stand in again, and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two-run home run, and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. Hit hard down the left field line, but this is foul near the seats. Problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. He's going to need to tighten up that swing a little down 0 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Another 0 and 2 coming. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Pena will put this one away, and the side is retired. So they go down without. Eric Hosmer will step in, a ground out victim as last time. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Billy Butler will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball. 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. To the shortstop, Jeter. Throw on to first is going to take care of him as the Royals are now down to their last chance now. Jeff Francoeur is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. These guys would like to at least get someone on base here in this bottom of the night. Got to make them sweat a little. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, I'll tell you what. All you want to do is make sure you have one of those eight postseason invitations. And, folks, they just wrapped one up right here. Congratulations on a good season thus far. And the Yankees were given a big boost tonight by the performance of this man, Derek Jeter. Take a snapshot of that. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Eric Karros, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 12, the show. For even more, join us on the web at theshownation.com. The Yankees come out on top 6-2. to two. Highlights from our game are coming your way next as we say goodnight from Kauffman Stadium.